Hey, Patrick Kelly, how are you? Nice to see you. I actually can't see you. You can just see me. Um, hey, I did a, a, a video last week on direct guest join. And there were so many questions and comments uh, that I figured, oh, we probably better do part two, if not part three, four, and five, uh, depending on how, how far we could drag this out, I guess, is that in part one of the experience, if you don't know what part of the way, if you don't know what direct guest join is, it is the ability, it's a, it's a collaboration between Microsoft and Zoom. And what it is, is the ability to be agnostic of what conferencing room platform you chose. Hopefully you chose Zoom and you're using Zoom rooms throughout your enterprise. But if you were to choose Microsoft Teams room, we can also get that to work. And full disclosure, by the way, I, I do work for Zoom. <laughs> I, I might have a little bit of a slanted opinion on this. I'll try to keep it as, as agnostic as possible. I, I, by the way, am not a figurehead for Zoom by any means. I am not a spokesman for Zoom by any means. I am just a technologist that likes to play with cool stuff. And a lot of times that includes Zoom. All right. So once we've created the meetings, again, at part one, I showed you how to create a meeting by, by in Outlook, really was where most people create out meetings, right? And I did that by using one of two tools. Inside of Outlook, you have both a, a, um, a Zoom meeting container, and you also have what they call a Microsoft Teams room or a Microsoft Teams plugin. Both can live on Outlook at any given time. I'm gonna show you the, the Teams plugin right here, and I created a new Teams meeting, Right here is that Teams meeting. I actually have it uh, created on the conferencing room, also created in my calendar, my organizer of the calendar. I created this meeting using the Microsoft Teams uh, plugin, and I invited a Zoom room to that meeting. All right, so first two parts of every meeting. One is organize the meeting. So Susie in HR uh, had a meeting she wanted to uh, include everybody on. She invited a Zoom room to that meeting so everyone could walk to the conferencing room and join that meeting from a Zoom room. Again, Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, what's it look like? Well, obviously we organized it, we created it. It's an Outlook, you see it in Outlook right now. You also see it in, in Teams right now. You see uh, I'm using Teams, I'm opening up the calendar, and there's a Teams meeting right here called Teams meeting. I wanna join that Teams meeting. How do I do that? I click the join button, <laughs> it's not real hard. I click the join button from that Teams meeting experience, and I'm gonna uh, just go ahead and there's computer, I'm actually gonna leave my audio off. And the reason I'm gonna leave my audio off is that obviously I'm joining the meeting from this machine, the conferencing room, the Zoom room is over there in the corner, and I don't want any reverb happening, so I'm not gonna actually utilize my, uh, my camera and or mic on, my, I'm sorry, my mic and speakers on my desktop. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna join now this meeting now. No audio, obviously, because I just turned it off. I do have a camera. It says I'm muted, but I'm really not muted because I'm using this mic to record the meeting. I'm also gonna do what, uh, change this camera over here. And the reason I'm changing this camera to Epochcom is is really because I don't, I don't have the ability to, uh, to create a way to have a virtual camera over there. So I'm actually gonna walk over there with, with this camera. And this camera now is, oh, look look over here. Hey, this camera now is a, um, a Zoom room camera, or a Zoom camera inside of my iPhone. It's called Epoch Cam, it's a whole other, whole other meeting. Hold her, sorry, uh, video on it some other day. All right, so now I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over to my Zoom room. And I'm gonna show you what Susie and HR is gonna see if she, I showed you how to organize a meeting, I showed you how to create a meeting inside of Teams using the Teams plugin. You're invited to a Zoom room. Now what's it look like? Zo Susie, it's time for the meeting. Susie wants to walk over to the Zoom room and join this Teams meeting experience. What's she gonna see? I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna see right now, then I'll kinda of come back and, and talk a little bit more. I'm gonna walk over there to the Zoom room. I'm gonna show you the Zoom room panel you're not gonna hear me talk. I'm gonna show you the Zoom room panel and I'm gonna join that Teams room. All right, you join that Teams meeting from a Zoom room. So here we go. Oh, first of all, I gotta change this camera right here. All right, right here, boom, done. You can see it there. I'm gonna switch the camera's angle so I can go to the other side. And we're gonna go over here.
Okay. So you saw what the experience was like, right? You saw that I literally walked over to the Zoom room experience. I walked over to the, pan, the Zoom room console. I literally just touched start the meeting or join the meeting from the, the, the console's panel. One touch experience. Now, since I am a guest, I actually have a policy in my Teams environment where it says, hey, I will actually want to put everyone in a lobby. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this camera back to my just my Logitech camera. I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna go minimize this right here. And what that's allowed me to do is, now you can see that the home office has is waiting in the lobby. We can't verify this person's identity because it's a guest, right? So I wanna admit them, because since I'm Susie, the, uh, the organizer of the meeting, I'm actually gonna admit that room to this meeting. Right, so what that allows me to do is then see I actually have two people in this meeting, right? I actually have uh, the organizer of this meeting and I have the home office in this meeting. What this all also allows me to do is now you see I have all these guests in the meeting. I have the administrator, the organizer of the meeting. I have the Zoom room in the meeting. Now, what's it look like on the other side, right? So I'm gonna, let's go back to Epoch Cam again and let's show you what the other side looks like. So there you go. The other side is seeing my camera because I was obviously I am a, uh, a participant in this meeting. You can see that it's a little blurry, but that's okay. So now I have the ability to join a Teams meeting from a Zoom room, right? And the next meeting uh, video I'll show you, I'll show you joining a Zoom meeting from a Microsoft Teams room. What this allows me to do is obviously I can share stuff as well. And I'm gonna actually switch again, switch this screen. I'm gonna share something in the meeting. So let's share something in the meeting. Let's share a document in the meeting. Let's just share uh, my screen over here. I can actually now share my screen in this Teams meeting. And again, what's, what, what do you think is gonna happen on the other side? What do you think you're gonna see in the Zoom room? If I'm sharing something from my computer into the meeting, you guessed it. In the Zoom room experience, you're seeing you're seeing my desktop that I just shared in the meeting. There's my desktop right there. I just shared that desktop inside of the Teams meeting from my Zoom client, right? And that's pretty cool. As I, now I have the ability to join a Zoom, using a Zoom room, join a Microsoft Teams meeting and share content in the Teams meeting and it show up in the Zoom room and vice versa, it works the other way. Again, so the main things you're gonna do in any meeting, you're gonna share content or you're gonna share audio and video. I've showed you both now. So now I have the ability to see all of this stuff real time in a real Teams meeting. I actually have the ability to, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> um, have the ability to join all those experiences from, from one console. Super cool, direct guest join, the ability to join Zoom rooms have Zoom rooms join a Teams meeting, have a Teams room join a Zoom meeting. Direct guest join part three will be a Zoom room, sorry, a Microsoft Teams room joining a Zoom meeting. I just showed you how to join a Zoom room to a Teams meeting. Super simple, one touch. Everyone should be able to figure this out. I can invite a Teams room and or a Zoom room the exact same way. I join a meeting the exact same way from a Zoom room that I would from a Zoom client, whether it's mobile or desktop. So the same user experience goes through every single iteration of whatever client you're using. So a super cool way to effectively take advantage of both Zoom rooms and Microsoft Teams rooms, Zoom meetings and Microsoft Teams meetings. Hopefully that was cool and you can show, show your customers or yourself or your colleagues, hey, we have Zoom rooms, we could join Teams meetings now. Watch Patrick do it. We just do it the same way. <laughs>